Hello, my name is Maria Miller from mathmammoth.com. In this video, we're going to study multiplying and dividing in parts. You're probably already familiar with this process, but just in case you're not, if we have a multiplication 7 times 84, I can multiply it mentally if I break 84 into two parts, 80 and 4. Okay? And then I'll write the 7 times here too. 7 times. 80 plus 4. Now I will multiply it in two parts. 7 times 80 and 7 times 4. So I multiply 7 times 80, which is 560. And then this is 28, okay? For lack of space, I'll write them above here. And lastly, add, of course, 588. This same process works even with larger numbers. I can break this into three parts, for example. So this one would be 300 plus 20 plus 1. And then that times 4. Okay? This time I will omit the multiplication sign, so we will get used to that, as in algebra. In algebra we do not have to write the multiplication sign between letters or between a number and a letter. Or like here, between a number and parentheses. So, I will multiply 4 times 300. And that's 1200. Then I multiply 4 times 20. That's 80. And then 4 times 1. And that's 4. Now you just add here. 1284. And, as far as the breaking down of this number, I can break it down in any way I want. I don't have to break this down as 10 plus 6. I can write it as 8 plus 8 if I want to, or any other combination, 9 plus 7, whatever. So I would have here 8 times 8 plus 8. And now when I multiply in parts, I get 8 times 8, which is 64, and then 8 times 8, which is 64, and so that is 128. Sometimes you can use this idea to mentally solve multiplication problems where the other number is very close to a hundred or a whole ten or a whole thousand, like here. Twenty-eight is very close to thirty. Ninety-nine is very close to hundred. I will actually write twenty-eight as a subtraction. It is thirty minus two, right? And then take that nine times. And now I will multiply in parts, but there will be a subtraction. 9 times 30 is 270, and then take away or minus 9 times 2, which is 18. Okay, and so we get here 252. 6 times 99 might look like a difficult problem to multiply in your head, but if you just write 100 as 100 minus 1, if you just write 99, 99 as 100 minus 1, then it's not that difficult at all. And then you multiply in parts. 6 times 100, and then 6 times 1. And there's a minus there. So we get 594. And one last example. We have here a number that is in the thousands, so I can break it into four parts, basically. This would be the same as 8 times 4,000 plus 100 plus 50 plus 2. And now multiply each part here separately and then add the parts like we've been doing. 8 times 4,000 is 32,000. Then 800. And then 400. And then 16. Okay, I'm running out of space again, but here we have 1,200 plus that would be 32,200 and then 16. So the whole thing is 32,260. Okay, 